All right, we are back for the dry results. Um, these paintings definitely warped a little bit from the paint. Um, and then the, the paint was very liquidy when pouring. So you still maintain some of the pattern, but it definitely was harder to control your design. Uh, I definitely like this one the best out of the two. This one kind of just got a little too muddy um, for, my, for my liking here. Um, but then I did make this massive skin and this little one happened it um, from one of the I think probably from this one it like Was not level so it was draining off onto the parchment paper So it made this really cool like ripple here. I like it And then I just took some of the leftover paint and just made this huge one So I'm excited to see what I can make with this if you have any ideas on what you want to see with this skin Let me know and I can do a video on it. There's plenty here um I do like the way that this worked because I didn't have to tilt it. I just kind of put it on the paper where I wanted it. Whereas on a canvas, you kind of have to tilt it. Otherwise, it's unlikely that you'll get it covered. I wasn't looking for a specific square or anything here. So just whatever shape it turned into worked just fine. So for skin making, highly recommend. Um, but overall for this kit, it's a good kit as far as the price point. And if you're not sure if you want to get into acrylic pouring or you just want to play around, have fun, um, go for it. If you're really serious about it, I would say get a little bit higher quality kit. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and it makes you happy.